Maritime transport forms the backbone of international trade and the global economy, handling approximately 90% of world trade. Each year, ships approximately transport an incredible 11 billion tons of goods across the globe. This ability to move goods and materials from their origin to their destination, is a key driver of modern life as we know it. The cargo carried by ships is as diverse as the world itself, ranging from raw materials to finished products, in forms as varied as solids, liquids, and gases, leading to the development of specialized ships designed to meet specific needs. In this video, I'll take you through the most common types of cargo ships sailing the seas, from container carriers and bulk carriers, to tankers, gas ships, and more. First on the list, and perhaps the most recognized type of cargo ship, is the container ship, also known as a box ship, or container carrier. These vessels are specifically designed to transport containerized cargo. They are equipped with standardized containers to facilitate easy loading and unloading. Container ships feature deep holds, with large, flat decks, fitted with cell guides for securely stacking containers below and above deck. These containers typically come in two main sizes, 20-foot equivalent units, TUs, and 40-foot equivalent units, FEUs. The contents of these containers vary widely, ranging from non-perishable items like consumer goods, electronics, machinery, and textiles, which are stored in regular containers, to perishable goods that require refrigerated containers to maintain their quality. Next on the list are bulk carriers, designed for the transportation of solid cargo in bulk, or unpackaged cargo in large quantities. Bulk carriers are commonly employed to transport agricultural products like grains, including wheat, corn, and barley, which serve as staples in food supply chains worldwide. It also carries minerals such as iron ore, nickel, coal, bauxite, cement, and fertilizers, which are fundamental to steel production, industrial processes, energy generation, and agriculture. It comprises spacious cargo holds, capable of accommodating large quantities of unpacked solid cargoes, equipped with hatch covers to protect the cargo from water ingress, which could compromise the quality of the materials and affect the ship's stability. Smaller bulk carriers are equipped with onboard cargo cranes, making them self-sufficient for loading and unloading in ports with limited infrastructure. Bulk carriers are categorized into various types based on their size and capacity, including handy size, handy max, Panamax, and Cape size vessels. Next are general cargo ships, versatile vessels designed to carry a wide variety of cargo types, including packaged goods, steel products, timber, machinery, freight containers, and even solid bulk materials. These ships are typically smaller in size, which enables them to navigate shallow ports and access areas that larger vessels cannot. Furthermore, many general cargo ships are equipped with onboard cargo cranes, making them capable of loading and unloading cargo in remote locations with limited or lack of port facilities. Next, we have heavy lift ships, which are specially designed to transport oversized or extremely heavy cargo that standard ships cannot handle. Some of these vessels are semi-submersible, 
allowing them to load cargo by partially submerging and then refloating. Others resemble general cargo ships but are equipped with heavy-duty cranes and reinforced decks, enabling them to carry heavy items such as wind turbines, large machinery, and other massive structures. Next is Pure Car Carriers PCC, often called car ships, are specifically designed to transport automobiles and other land vehicles. Their most notable feature is their high freeboard, giving them the appearance of a floating parking structure. Inside, they have multiple decks where vehicles are securely parked and lashed in place. These ships are also equipped with a stern ramp, allowing for easy loading and unloading of vehicles. Next are tanker ships, designed to transport liquid cargo in bulk. These vessels are categorized into oil, chemical, and gas tankers. Oil tankers are specifically designed to carry crude oil and refined petroleum products. They are equipped with advanced systems such as cargo pumps and an inert gas system to minimize the risk of explosions and ensure safe handling of flammable cargo. Chemical tankers, on the other hand, are designed to carry various liquid chemicals and other hazardous materials. These range from harmless or food-grade liquids such as palm oil, to highly toxic or corrosive substances, such as sulfuric acids, methanol, caustic soda, liquid fertilizers, and other hazardous materials. A key feature of chemical tankers is the construction of their cargo tanks, which may be coated or made of stainless steel. Some chemical tankers have smaller, segregated tanks that allow them to carry multiple parcels of different chemicals simultaneously. LPG, or liquefied petroleum gas tanker ships, are specialized vessels designed to transport liquefied gases like propane or butane. These gases are compressed and cooled into a liquid state for efficient transportation. The cargo tanks, typically spherical or cylindrical, are constructed from steel or nickel alloy to withstand low temperatures and high pressure. They are equipped with insulation systems to maintain the required temperature and pressure, as well as reliquefaction systems to handle evaporated gas and keep the cargo in its liquid state. LNG or liquefied natural gas tanker ships are designed to transport liquefied natural gas, which consists primarily of methane. LNG is transported at extremely low temperatures up to minus 165 degrees Celsius to maintain it in its liquid form. The cargo tanks are commonly spherical or moss-type and membrane-type tanks to store LNG at cryogenic temperatures. We also have reefer ships, specifically designed to transport perishable goods under controlled temperatures, and livestock ships, built to carry live animals safely and efficiently. I will create a separate video in the future that provides a more detailed explanation of each type of cargo ship. This video shows only a brief overview about the common types of cargo ships. That's all for now, I hope you find this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.